what's up everybody? I'm Andrew Steele and today I'm here with my friends Mike and Tracy in their 2017 Tiffin Phaeton. Today we are going to take a tour of their coach. I'm going to ask them what they like and don't like about their coach and any problems that they have and we have another fun idea for today as well. The thing that I want to do today, this is an idea that I've had now when Mike and Tracy greeted us this morning, they told us that they were big fans of the YouTube channel, and we greatly appreciate that. And I wanted to see how good of fans they are, and this is going to be the first episode of the game show on the channel. Now, we detailed their coach today, and I want to give them an opportunity to win a discount on their bill today. So... They have an opportunity to win real money here. This is a, this is a real yeah. game show. We're doing it. so uh, No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. So it's just money on the line here. Okay. So, uh, so they've watched a lot of my YouTube videos. So we're going to kind of do this on the fly here. So bear with us. But I'm going to ask them a few questions. I'm going to ask them five questions oh about my YouTube channel. If they get three questions right, they get 10% off. If they get four questions right, they get 15% uh, off, and if they get five questions right, they get 20% off. So, the, you know, they had a pretty big detail. We did the full wash and wax yes. on this coach today, so, and we'll show you some uh, pictures of the outside of it as well, so you'll see how shiny it is. So, it looks amazing, by the way, and I think Mike said it looked better than when we got it from the dealer. It does, it does. Yeah. <laughs> we love hearing that. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, you've watched a whole bunch of videos, mm -hmm. and what we'll do is... Tell me a video that you watched, and I'm going to ask you a question of it, a little quiz trivia to see if you remember. So going back on past videos, I'll let you guys choose the first video, okay. and, and then I'll ask you a question uh, on that video. So, <laughs> um, I think one we've watched a lot is probably the eight mistakes or like... No, that was 15, so... <laughs> so and that was a two-part video. That was actually two videos. It was a two-part video. video. Yep, yep, so... But we have watched that a few times. I like that. Okay, that's, let's right? do that one. And that's a great video. Uh, I think it's like 15 ways, I said it wrong, 15 ways that someone can damage your RV while washing it. Okay. What are three of the 15 ways that your RV could be damaged while it's being washed? Ew. One would be um, spraying the radiator fins with the pressure washer too closely and damaging the fins um spraying the windshield with temperature differences could two? crack the, the windshield this, this one would be nasty um this the, is good i know the, oh, black, yeah. tank, <laughs> yeah. I know flush. That. the black tank <laughs> flush if you leave it hooked up um uh, mistakenly with that's the, horrible i did not the, know uh, that valve closed yes and the, they got all three of those right so and the last one, do not fill up your sewer flush when the valves close. You do not want to flood a coach with sewage. I couldn't even imagine a coach this nice. It like, freaks oh. me out. Could you imagine? I would, we'd sell oh, yeah. it. We'd be gone. Oh. Hopefully that, that video will help save people from having that problem happen. It's so, a great video, and it's very helpful. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Okay. So, okay, okay, so let's let's go through. So now I'm going to choose a video, and I don't okay. even know. I've got like... I don't even know how many videos. I can't even keep track of them so much. So I'm, I'm going to go back a little ways here. Okay. And one of the most popular videos is titled, Why is Prevo Marathon Coach $1.5 million more than Numar Essex? Okay. And you've seen this video? Yes. Okay, so we're going to make this uh, a, a little tricky here. Okay. So it's been a while. It's been what, a while. What, are, what are three different ways that why the Prevo Marathon Coach is $1.5 million more than the Numar Essex? Okay, I'm, I'm going okay. to... I'm not sure if it's exactly why, but my recollection is the, the when you open the basement, the, the heavy doors that Boom. shut. Number one? Yes. Um, the Prevo is built in a cage. Um, mm -hmm. that was the frame the is, is a cage where the uh, Numar is built um, on the chassis in the platform. Yeah, up. I didn't know that. Well, but... We've got two. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'll go with, since you're a detailer, and we're going to just roll the video like this, the paint. Boom, three, right. two for two. Woo! 
I think they may be getting a discount. They're they're doing good, but they've been they've been paying attention. They weren't they weren't joking. They really were paying attention to the videos. So and uh, one of the really cool things that they did this morning was when they greeted us. Tracy had all of the stuff that we had posted in the video when we were filling my RV to come on the road trip. So Red Bull, Doritos, Oreos, all of that cool stuff. So that was really cool. And we really appreciated that this morning. Hey, I have something for you. Um, I went back and saw you had Cool Ranch for your road trip. And then Big Tony had Oreos in the sun visor, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that was in the video too. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know you guys like Red Bulls, so uh, we have uh, Yeah, we've been drinking these all day already, so. Red Bulls. Oh, awesome. And then, I couldn't forget Sadie. Of course. We have stuff for Sadie, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Mike has one last thing. All right. Yeah, we gotta keep you hydrated. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, Tony, big Tony, big a six pack out of the trunk. Yeah, man. That's the goods. So, on to question number three. I need to make these questions a little bit harder here. Uh, so, where did I buy my RV from? What dealership did I buy my RV from? Well, you bought okay. it in Florida. Yeah, it was in Florida. Oh, do you remember mm. the dealer? And I've mentioned no, this I in a few different, I've you mentioned have. it in a few videos. Yeah, I had to can, keep, uh, you know, I was about to get smoked for some money here. <laughs> I had to give him a, uh oh. Can we guess? Uh oh, oh absolutely. You have to yeah. guess, because I only knew the state. I only knew the state. Lazy Days. No, North Trail RV. Oh, oh, so. right. All right. Oh, two for three. All right. <laughs> We're two for three. And I will give you guys the, the, uh, the what's, what's another video? You guys can choose the next video and then I'll, I'll make the last question. Let's see. That showed some of the different RVs you've had in the past. Oh. Okay. I like that. That's yeah, a good one. Good. It's called RVing with Andrew Steele was the title. Just my name was the title of that video. What, uh, how much did I pay for the RV that I bought from the gentleman that passed away. You want to do it together? Okay. 2,500! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Three for four. That so pure luck. Oh, uh, shoot. That. And I even was like trying to dig for a hard question from that video. <laughs> They're really paying attention here. So I got to, you know, oh, this I, is gonna I, be a tough I got to be careful. So they're three for four right now so for the last. Let's see. What's, um, what was the first? Oh, here, here's what I'll go back oh, to. Oh, I know your first video. You do? Yes, that's on the YouTube channel. Perfect. So, she says she knows my first video, and my very first video I interviewed, well... Oh, well, maybe it's not that. It's, well... It's not. It it's, was... It is. So, what is my... This is going to be the final okay, question. Okay, okay, okay. What is... So, and then I'll tell a little story about the background of my YouTube channel, too. So, what was the very first video on my YouTube channel. Okay, well the very first one we saw, it ha it was you on a motorized bar stool. That's it? How did you see, when did you see that? Not too long ago, because I was like, what's his first video? I want to see where he started. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, what the heck is he doing on a bar stool? And it was hilarious. <laughs> so, that's really funny. Yay! So, that's, yeah, four out of five. They got a 15% high five, 15% <laughs> off the bill today, whoa, so whoa. they saved some money today. So I'll tell you a little background of that video. That was the one video that I posted in like 2012 or something when I really started my YouTube channel, but I, all I did was basically handed someone my phone and one of my clients, some folks that I actually met up here at Elkhorn Ridge last year, uh, really good friends of mine, we, we hung out with them a ton last year. Uh, Lorenzo and Vita Cabellos, really nice people, thanks again. But um, they let me ride their uh, Boss Haas bar stool with 350 horsepower. So oh I was on gosh. a, it's my very first video if you look all the way back. And I was, and so then I just, you know, that video sat out there for like six years. And then in February, I like made a couple videos. And then somewhere in the middle of March was when I like really started making a lot of videos. So this is all kind of new. What model is this? 
This is a 40 AH. So um, in your Tiffin ownership, what are the things that you like about this coach? Well, I love the bed. <laughs> the bed is the most comfortable bed we've ever had, ever, since we've been together. And then um, the washer and dryer. That's a girl thing. I yeah. think it's just nice to have it. Absolutely. Board. So it's a full size washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. And what's so great about the bed? It is just so comfortable. And everybody that I've talked to has to switch theirs out. And the it's, Tiffin came. It's a memory foam mattress. What came it's, with it's it. It's so. really comfortable. Okay. And and it's king size, which yeah. we've never ever, even in the house, we've mm -hmm. never had a king size. No. So it, it, we, we enjoy the king size. A little sure. extra elbow room. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And Mike, what do you like about the coach? Um, I like the layout. I, I like the storage space i like the walk-in closet that's that's nice back there electronics the the conveniences um double sinks in the bathroom a lot, lot of nice conveniences and in some ways it's been nicer than yeah. some of the houses um that, that we've been in in the past definitely i, I feel the same way in my <laughs> tiffin phaeton my old 08 phaeton i'm like wow there's like you know everything's so nice and, yes. and so well built and um i i can can appreciate that for sure. So, um, in that three years of ownership, what problems have you had with the coach? Let's see. For me, inside, I, I hate to say it, I wish I had something to knock on, but nothing, nothing on the inside for me at all. We have not had anything major. Um, we've had a few things where we took it back to the dealer and the dealer wasn't extra responsive um if you if you can take it back to the tiffin and red bay that's a lot better than taking it yes. back to one of the dealers but the dealer i think the couple times we were in had it um, three or four weeks each each time so that was very very inconvenient i completely understand and how many times have you been to red bay this is our first time okay about a month ago and it was amazing it was I cannot believe what a great company they are. No no advertisement here, but they are a great company. Yeah, and so for those of you that don't know, Tiffin is in Red Bay, Alabama, and that is the best place to go to service your Tiffin. From what I hear, I get to meet all kinds of owners like Mike and Tracy, and this is something that I just hear over and over again. So if you are a Tiffin owner, Red Bay, Alabama is definitely the place to go. I haven't been there yet personally. They've been telling me all day that I need to yes. make the trip and I'm definitely, it's on my list to do. So uh, hopefully that'll be a future video for you guys. So It was one of the reasons we bought a Tiffin is because of the service and because we knew they would back their product. And and do. One of the same reasons I bought my Tiffin too, just hearing that over and over, and I haven't needed to use it yet, but yes. uh, but that's good to know. So what did they repair for you while you were in Red Bay? Um, we just had minor problems. The DVD player didn't work, and it was probably operator failure. You know, we're, we're a little older. We're not very techie. And then, no, no, uh, no. <laughs> and then um, um, what else did they do? They fixed a USB port. Yep. Um, all minor things very very minor the the tweaks little things that were coming off they'd fix yeah probably because I'm as OCD as I am I appreciate that. I needed it to be a certain way and they were super responsive and did everything so what do you not like about your coach for me um, everyone has always said there's not a perfect coach there's just a perfect coach for you and for the most part this is a perfect coach except the couch I I mean, you're sitting on it. It's not that uncomfortable, but it's not not comfy. It's not a comfy couch. I'm definitely sitting kind of awkward here. I'm kind of want to yes. be in the camera shot here, so it's awkward, but I'm, yeah, little, I'm not going to argue with you. It's okay. not, I've sat in more comfortable right. couches. And the yeah. TVs are on both ends. So I wish we had got the entertainment chairs, the theater chairs, and the TV right there. And that, honestly, is the only complaint we have but we appreciate everybody watching today and huge thanks to Mike and Tracy for giving us a tour and our first episode of a game show <laughs> and hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more RV related content, please subscribe. Safe travels.